Hey guys, gonna make a little video here on uh, tying Did a little rib lacing here on my rudder for my 1946 Piper J3 Cub. What I normally do is I pull off about, probably about 10 or 12 feet of string. And I like to use the flat over the round. To me, the flat looks a lot better. It lays flatter on you, you know, over your uh, reinforcing tape and everything. And just, to me, it looks a little prettier anyway. All right, so what we're gonna do is you're gonna need a 12 inch curved tip needle for starter. All right, I take my string and I tie kind of uh, two half hitch knots there in it, pull it tight, cut it off, leave about an inch ear there on the end of it, a little tail. All right, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna wanna go through the right side of your rib, right here. All right, we're gonna go down all the way through. We're gonna leave about six or eight inches of string on that right side, okay? We're gonna come back up through the left side, right over here. <clears throat> and what I like to do there, let me back up here before I get started there, is I like to put all the uh, poly brush on. And, you know, people do it, 100 people do it 100 different ways, but I put my poly brush on, uh, back up first off i'm fine center of my rib and then i go out an inch each way to get my two inch mark put my two pencil lines here on it all right and then i will poly brush everything down and then i'll put my reinforcing tape on there and i throw a little poly brush on it as well to get it to stick good and lay down good and everything all right and then we'll do our rib stitching like we're doing right here okay so anyway Thought I'd throw that out there. So what we do here is we're gonna do a square knot. <clears throat> so what you got is your right side, you're gonna go right over the left, like you're tying a shoe, if you're right-handed. Pull the thread through, like you're gonna tie a knot. Now you're gonna do short side, or we're gonna do you know, that was right over left. Now we're going to do left over right. And then we're going to bring this under here and bring it down like so. And then you have a square knot. This is a square knot right here, as you can see. Okay. So both ends should kind of push and pull apart. Then you're going to pull these down tight, lock them down, and then you're gonna cinch it down just kind of pull up on your string on the long string and it'll kind of pull it down there okay leave enough here to where you can you know pretty much get your pinky finger underneath of it right here all right and then i like to take the short side come over here and go underneath the belt line and then i'll turn it around and go back through that hoop to create a half hitch knot right there all right now once i get that done i like to pull it cinch the knot down good pull up on my short string or long string pull my knot down pull it over towards the right now that's locked down now i take my needle and i'll come over here and go under the belt Pull all of that long string forward. Bring the needle back towards me, bust a U-turn, and then I go back through the tunnel. Right there. All right, once I go through the tunnel there, then I pull the knot forward and over to the right, and that's a double hitch knot, two half hitch knots there. So now that knot's done, it'll never un untie, unlock, or nothing else. Now what I do is I normally leave a good inch, inch and a half on there, a little tail. Cut the rest of it here off. Push my knot through with the end of my needle. All right, and then what I do is 
Sometimes I feed that on through there or I'll wait like this. Take your needle, go on the right side of that string. And I lay, keep my needle kind of flat under here where the curve, I can see the curve and I bring it down. And then at the last second, we'll roll it towards the left and let it poke up through the hole. Now, pull that forward. Now we got that pulling up there that way. Now we can push our little tail down in here. Like I said, you can, you can put it in prior to going with this like it or whatever. Now, once you got this done, now we're gonna pull the string towards the left a little bit, towards the left side of the rib. Take your needle, go through the right side of that string. Always go through the right side. Take it all the way down. Go all the way down here. Then you're gonna leave a little hoop right there. And then we're gonna come back through the bottom. There's Chadwick tonight, yeah. Now, we're gonna come back up through the center, the island, a lot of people call it. They call this the palm tree in the island, which is a pretty good idea. So, you got your palm tree here, and then your island. The palm tree is growing through the center of your island. Now you take your needle and go underneath the south end of the island, come up, roll the needle 180 degrees, go under the north end, pull straight back on it, and then pull up on the palm tree, and then forward. Now what that does is that creates a V in it. You got a little V right there. So now you're gonna roll the needle to the right 180 degrees, Go under the belt, roll the needle back towards you, point towards you, <clears throat> pull forward, pull up on the left string, and then pull back. All right, and that creates kind of a figure eight looking pattern. Now you're gonna pass your needle all the way through the left side over here. Now what I like to do is I'll take the, the palm tree that was over here, and I pull it, uh, there we go, it went under. I pull it to the right, and then I get about here and I put my finger on it, and then I pull the rest of my string straight up, okay? Just like that. And now, if there was more to go on up, what you would do is you would come right here, you know, roll your knot into the wing, down under the wing, hide the knot. And now you would go on the right side in here. You would run up, pop up through your next hole, pull the needle up, and then you do the same thing. You're gonna pull up, and then you're gonna go back down through that right hole again, and then go down and come up and make their little palm tree again. But now that we're at the end right here, I just got two right here. So what I'm gonna do, is come through under the belt, take my needle forward, pull back, create this little tunnel here, bring the needle towards me, bust the U-turn, and I'm gonna go back through the tunnel, just like I did there on that first time. And this is tying a half hitch knot in here. And then you just pull up on your string, and then I like to do two of them here. Pull up, create a loop, come towards me and bust a U-turn and go back through the tunnel. Right. And then I pull it up. And then I cinch, just double cinch down on the knot there again to make sure it's good and secure. Leave about an inch and a half tail on it. And then I'll take and turn it around and push the tail down into the wing. Just like so. Just like it. And that's it. Not that hard, pretty simple. And then, uh, you know, just puts a pretty, pretty flat, nice looking uh, stitch right there on it. So anyways, hope you enjoyed the video and uh, hope you got something there out of it. And uh, be sure to like and subscribe and we'll have more videos along the way here on the J3 Cub Project. Thanks for watching.